Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard and this is my channel all about photography, landscape, outdoor photography and editing, Lightroom, things like that. Today I have a quick Lightroom video for you where I wanna show you how I manage my photos and my website where I can um, add any photos that I've taken into my Adobe portfolio website which comes with a Lightroom subscription I believe and it just means that you can get your photos from Lightroom to your website without having to do any exporting and importing from Lightroom and then back into your website and stuff like that. It all goes through the cloud, it all goes through Lightroom, it doesn't take up any of your cloud storage space or anything like that. Really, really good way of showcasing your photos online without having to pay for a web host or anything like that. So I'm gonna jump into Lightroom right now and have a quick look at what we do. Right, so here we are in Lightroom and what I've got here is some photos from our holiday in the summer and I've already edited those and I've added them to a final JPEGs edit folder already that's part of my editing process anyway so these are now jpeg files and not raw files and when i finish this process at the end of this video i will explain why you shouldn't use your raw files you can sync your raw files through to adobe portfolio but i'm just gonna explain at the end why you shouldn't because sometimes it doesn't quite work okay so Basically what I've set up is I've set up a series of smart collections down here for my um, portfolio. So all my landscape photos that I like to show off and then into categories, things like by the coast, close up macro in the mist, blah, 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 all of these categories here. They're set up by using keywords. So for example, if I wanted to add some of these to those smart catalogs there, I would just type in, let's do, I'm just gonna do these three here with water rather than do them all. I'll just show you on one uh, category how it works. So I will go into here and I know what my keywords are already. I Certain keywords will go through to certain smart catalogs. So I know that everything has to, or the all, the water ones have to have all portfolio and water. No, they don't, it's by water, <laughs> okay. So that's got two keywords there, all portfolio by water. I'm gonna do the same for this. I could have copied and pasted it, but. And this third one here. So all that is done is keyworded those three images. So one, two, three. What that's done down here is that has added those three images to my all landscape smart catalog, um, smart collection. And it's also added them into the water one here. Um, the reason you're only seeing three images is because it's segregated by the date up here, just so that it doesn't, otherwise you'll get all of these, um, but I just wanna keep it clean and show you these three that I'm working on now. Now, the one downside is that Adobe Portfolio can't sync from smart collections. So you have to do it from a normal collection. So the easiest way of doing that is set up for the same, um, the same collections as you have for smart collections. You can call them the same name. You just have to put a space at the end or a full stop or whatever you like. And then we've just done all landscape and we've just done water. We've just added photos to those two categories. So. We are going to just go into, we have, you can see here that in all landscape, we have 45 in the smart collection, but we only have 42 in the normal collection. Now you can go through and if I was to show you all, all 17 dates. So you can go through and find the ones that you want and drag them into the normal collection, but it's just as easy. It's not gonna add them twice. It's just as easy to click on one, highlight them all. So I've just done command A, and then drag them all into all landscape. And you'll notice down here where I'm hovering that this 42 will go up to 45. Okay, and the same with in the water ones, I wanna get those three from here and make sure they fall into, you can see we're three different, we've got 14 here and 11 here. Highlight one, command A, all of them. And then you can drag those from the smart collection into your normal collection. You can see now that we've got 14 and 14. What we have to do is, 
Just have to wait for it to finish syncing up here. It's syncing 13 photos now through to, I'm not sure why it's 13 because it's done it three, two or three times. Um, not quite sure why it's 13 to be honest, but it's syncing these through. It won't take long to sync through. If it's a new collection that you've got, so you'd set up your smart collection based on whatever criteria you want and then you'd duplicate it with a normal collection. The first time you do that, you will have to go into um, depending on your setup, I have a separate page here for portfolio or a separate folder. When you set up the album or the collection for the first time, it will be not in that portfolio folder. So you're just let's using this for an example, you would just have to drag your new collection into the portfolio um, folder. But all mine are already in there because I'm just adding to existing collections. So once that has been done, if we now go into, uh, where are we, water, hopefully we will get the three. So there's the three that we've just brought through, which is that one, that one, and that one. So they have synced through the cloud. It's only smart previews, it's not the full file size, and they should also be in here as well. It's probably gonna be these, I oh know, down here, one, two, three. So I know they've synced to the cloud. So what we would do now is we would go to Adobe portfolio on the web and you can see here that this is the water let me show you it back from the beginning so if I go into portfolio I go into all landscape photos and these are the same collections that I have in the Lightroom dashboard that you've just seen here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Oh no, I haven't got product on here actually because I'm not really doing product photography. But on here we've got 36910. If you have a new collection down here on the left hand side and you still, let's say you set up another one that was uh, wildlife, for example. Um, actually, I could use product just, for, just to test, just to show you. I'm not going to import it, but I'll show you what I mean. So this product one isn't here. All you'd have to do is make sure that you are in the editing part of your website. Click on pages, go to the page that you want to add that library, that Lightroom collection to, which is this one. And you can either click on the add page up here in the top left hand corner, or you can click on add page here and you would pick Lightroom album. That would then open up your Lightroom online. You can see here we've got portfolio 11 albums and we'd have product there. If I was to click on product and then click on import selected, that would add that here and when you click in it you would see all the photos in that collection so that's if you were to add a new collection but if you've just added images to a current one all you have to do is navigate again to the pages so we're going to update this water one with those three images that we've just added we're going to go to pages we're going to go to where it says water and we are going to click on the little cog here, the drop down arrow next to the cog and see where it says reset from Lightroom. What that will do is it will look for any changes. So if you've added or taken images out of the collection in Lightroom, it will take them out of your website portfolio. Um, reset from Lightroom, double click the blue button to be sure. Depending on what it's got to do, this may take um, a few minutes that hasn't, it's only taken a few seconds. We're gonna go back to editor. Normally the screen will refresh and we can now see the three images on here that we've just added to that collection. And I'm gonna do the same on pages for the all landscape section. So we click on all landscape. Those three images shouldn't be in here. So again, pages, cog, drop down arrow next to where it says all landscape, reset from Lightroom, reset from Lightroom again. Might take a bit longer because it's a bigger collection, but there you go, it's only taken a few seconds. The screen should refresh. And there's the three images there, one, two, three. And then once you've done that and you're happy with it, update live site. This will take a couple of minutes. 
While that's happening, let me explain to you why you shouldn't use the raw files that have been edited. As we know that Lightroom is non-destructive, so it just applies your edits over the top of your existing original file that's on your hard drive. Excuse me, sometimes changes that you've made or edits that you've applied do not seem to sync through to the cloud. I'm not sure why. Sometimes if that doesn't happen, you have to go back into it, make a minor adjustment to force that sync again, and then it updates. But I don't wanna run the risk of adding images to my portfolio that don't have my edits on, and it's just a bland, flat, uninspiring raw file. Um, so looking at the screen here now, you can see that your site is live. I'm just gonna go to view my site. So this is looking at the site in a live environment and we're gonna to go to all landscape photos and we updated water. And there are the images there live now on my portfolio website with Adobe. So there, I find that a really easy way of getting images from your editing software of Lightroom into your website. Portfolio, if you're paying for a Lightroom, um, if you're paying for a yeah, Lightroom subscription, then the application comes with it. Um, I haven't done a video on how to set that up because that is a little bit more involved, but if anyone would be interested in seeing that, then I can try and record something to show you guys um, exactly how you set it up. There's all sorts of themes and layouts and menus and links and pages and stuff like that. So it may take a bit of planning. If I get enough comments down below of people asking to see it, then I'll do it. Um, but for the most part, I just wanted to show that way of getting images from your Lightroom catalog into your Adobe portfolio website. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. We've got another um, excursion out into the forest coming up. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see me wander around taking some photos in the forest and there'll also be more editing photos and gear photos and uh, editing videos and gear photos as well. So. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.